what is up guys welcome back to another video and today I want to show you guys how to actually get gorilla tag cuz cuz uh, some people don't actually know how to get gorilla tag because it's actually kind of difficult to get gorilla tag so first you want to head over to your local Walmart whatever and grab yourself an oculus oculus quest oculus quest 2 or maybe even an Oculus Rift. Any one of those will work. Then you'll want to set it up with all your stuff like information and stuff like that. And then once you boot everything up, you make up your little avatar. Then that's when you start to get Gorilla Tag. So when you look for Gorilla Tag. And that's what I'm going to be showing you today. Also, I'm going to be showing you what it looks like, what uh, the Gorilla Tag looks like, and how to get started with it. Um, so first, you're going to want to go to store. Oops. You're going to want to go to store. And then you'll see this wonderful thing. And you're gonna wanna go to search. And then you go to search, and it does take a little bit to get used to this. Um, you'll want to type in G O R I L L A, and then space, and then T A G. And then enter. Okay, I thought I hit a space, but I didn't. One second. I get you. No. Gorilla. Tag. Okay, so you want to have that and then hit enter. And then you'll see Gorilla Tag. It will be for free. Um, you want to see it. And um, usually it will say like App Lab and then search and then you'll see that uh, you'll get this wonderful video and then you want to click view details so it says available through app lab and just hit ok you can pause this if you want or you can watch um, that's basically gorilla tag you can watch that if you want um, can go here just look at everything you want but I don't think you really need to because uh, you're just trying to get the game so here it'll say get um, for me it says download for me it says download because um, I've already gotten it so we hit download and you can keep on browsing while that downloads um, for you guys, I'm gonna cut this out, this part out, because installing actually does take a little bit. So I'm gonna cut this out, because it does take a while. So this is a comment. So, uh... Yeah, this kind of- <laughs> why did this just summarize this entire video? Oh, how to get away from four-year-olds. Okay. Alright, so now it says start, and you just cl click on start. It'll lo load up. Okay, there was a thing that said allow Gorilla Tag to accept audio clips, and then that's how- yeah. Um, so first, uh, come on, oh, it's actually beautiful right now, but usually 
uh, when you first start up, you'll spawn up there, which is the tutorial area. Um, if you saw my last video, that is a better tutorial than the tutorial area, because the tutorial area is just two humps that you have to get over. And that's lame. But, um, after you set that up, and you finish the tutorial, something fun you'll want to do is mess with the computer. The computer is a really useful thing, extremely useful. And actually, it's great for my future videos. So first, it's room. This is how I get all my rooms and stuff. This is how I get into my very own room where I can teach you guys stuff. I just put in a random jumble of letters and join it. Pretty self-explanatory. Um, this and press enter to join or create a custom room the enter with the entered code. Press option one to disconnect from your current room. This is option one. You click that and you leave. That turn puts you into a public lobby. You might want to do that. I don't know. Next will be name. You want this is so. Um, your. So your name when you join in will be Gorilla, and then just four random numbers. You'll delete it, and then put in whatever you want. That's my name. Uh, color. This is where you pick your color. I actually forgot to change my color back from the uh, first Gorilla Tag video. So this is actually my usual color. Is yellow. Um, this next one is turn. So you have a little joystick here on your right controller. And so choose option one. So this is what option one looks like, which is snap. You kind of turn like this. Um, you can also change the amount you want to turn. And as you saw for nine, is pretty Jurassic. Jurassic. Jurassic? Jurassic? No. I have no clue. I'm bad at English. Uh, number two is smooth. So option two will change it to smooth, which means this this will be like a seizure warning or motion sickness warning. This is actually let me turn it down. That's how bad it is. You can spin like this. Even four is still kind of fast. But nine, this is like where the real warning is. You are so fast like that. Um, this is mostly like if if you jump, you can turn around and continue going and see if there's a lava monkey behind you. Um, so that's how it is. This is my normal settings. Mic. So this, you can choose to option two. This will make it so that you... Unless you press, I don't know what button, I haven't figured that out yet, but unless you press a button, nobody can hear you. And stuff like that. Um, and then all chat, you can also, three, push to mute, um, which means you can't hear anybody. I just have it on all chat, but I, can, I think I can turn that off. Q. So this is once you unlock the competitive that I have talked about. This. So you go up there, boom, ba 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 ba. Once you hit that button, you unlock the competitive Q, which is useful if you are a good monkey. And so if you hit option two, you can go into a competitive lobby. 
I don't because I don't want to. Uh, if you go into group, this is if you have a group of friends and you just want to go to a public lobby together. You get all your friends to stand on the computer except for one person who selects a map. <laughs> one for forest, uh, two for cave, three for canyon, four for city, and I think that's it. Um, if you guys do go too far from city, you won't be teleported with. That's how it works. A uh, voice. You will use this to enable your voice chat. So you'll, so, voice chat on, I do have that on. If you hit, um, option two, now, no matter what, Nobody can hear me right now. So I'm going to turn that on. Visual. These are cosmetic particles. So there are particles, or handables. If we come over here, there are special handables like these. So if we were to grab this and put it in our hand. Sorry, I thought I saw something move. I got scared. These, it, these leaves should fall. Yeah. Wait for it. Yeah. So as you see, there's that. Um, you can turn those particles on and off. So those particles can get in the way sometimes. So you can turn them on and off. So that means those leaves that you saw falling won't be there. And then this is credits. Um, this is all just stuff from that the credits do. You know, credits. So that is everything about the computer. Everything you need to know about the computer. This area is the cosmetic stuff. This is where you put on your cosmetics. So this is actually my usual look. Actually, that is. That is my usual look. So... If I go over to the mirror, this is how I look in-game. This is how people see me. So, um, after that, let me show you how you can get these. So you spawn in forest and you come over to city. The ATM is here. You hit begin. And you can either buy rocks. For $20, you can get 5000 Uh, Pretty standard. Your balance is how much you have. Mine is 600 If you come over here, you get 100 more shiny rocks in within 24 hours. So, the way you buy stuff. Say you want, oh, I'd like this butterfly thing. Well, maybe that looks kind of fun. Oh, maybe that. You just look around. There's sunglasses here. There are some hidden ones. Like, there's a little room back here with bushy eyebrows. You can get bushy eyebrows if you want. Or, you can climb up this ramp. Climb up this ramp. So, those stuff is just seasonal. That's just seasonal stuff, so that will change seasonally. And also, like, if it's a holiday, it'll change that. Uh, there's also just, like, just fun stuff. Say you want to buy all this. You come down here, and you're like, okay, what do I want to buy? Wait, I don't know how this actually looks. Do I want them? Because I don't know how they look, because that's not really a good representation on how it looks. Which is what the mirror is for. So with the mirror, what you do is you press try on, and you can see how it looks. There's a coconut head, a pineapple, bushy eyebrows, which actually messes with my vision. The nice flower. And a nice thing. Or, butterfly. But, doing this, as soon as you leave, it all goes away. 
All of it. All of it goes away. As you see, I still have my party hat and mask, but as soon as I go back in, it's right back. So you can continue trying it on, but as soon as you leave, it's gone. So that you can't really cheat with it. Now, once you go here, you still have the things in your hands. But again, if you leave, it's gone. So you select whatever you want to buy. You can only select one at a time. And it will it's if it's if you have enough. So like Come on. I'm not Okay. Well, it'll say if you want to buy it now, and if so, you'll hit yes. And then of course I want it or I need it now. So you'll have to hit yes both times in order to get it. There's also this early access purchase thing. So you get 10 pay 10 bucks and you get all this. Or you can buy 20 bucks of 5000 uh shiny rocks. I personally don't suggest buying 5,000 shiny rocks because $20 is kind of a, a lot for how many you get because that is just a flower or a that with I don't know. There's nothing even worth it. Like for twenty, this this is worth more than twenty bucks because it's six thousand dollars for shiny rocks. So sometimes it's not too worth it. There's also sunglasses here, which are really cool looking. And there are also things up here. So there's the mask and the surgical thing. This is actually worth only 500. So there's also jewelry or piercings with a nose ring, that, that, and those. I don't really suggest it. These tunnel glasses are fun. And any eye patch. I don't know how it'll show up on the video, but it covers up your vision, as you would expect. So, take off. Uh, take off. Okay. So first, the tunnel glasses. They're irritating. They really are. Um, the left eye, oops, left eye patch. If I were to close my right eye... I can't see a thing. I'm pure blind right now. I don't know what's going on. Uh, same thing, but this one is my right eye. Can't can't see anything out of my right eye. And this one. I can't see anything except for the very bottom. Help me. So, eye patches are just a challenge for you. If you want me to do a challenge with them... Like, I buy these, and then I try and play Gorilla Tag with them. Then, uh, tell me. But I would have to earn the... The rocks. I only have 600. But that is how you work the... Uh, Monkey Mart. And the very last thing over here... Is what kind of mode do you want to play in? Actually, second thing. Um, casual is just, there's nothing. It's just monkeys hopping around, having fun. Infection is where you chase monkeys. And, you know, tag people. It's what the lava monkey is. And hunt, uh, you get a little band, which tells you that you have to hunt down a specific monkey. Once you find that monkey, you tag him, and then you get a new monkey. But make sure you don't get yourself tagged, or else you'll die. Or else you will uh, lose and turn into a ghost. 
once you turn into a ghost, you can tag the other people and slow them down. So you can get revenge on the guy that tagged you by slowing him down and not letting him win the game. This is, uh, it's, it's, it's fun. Um, the infection is just normal tag. I'm pretty sure we've all played normal tags when we were kids. And it's fun. Uh, that is everything except for one thing. The almighty board. This board. Since I'm alone, I can't really mute myself or report myself. But if somebody's being toxic, you can report them for toxicity. Or if they're just hating on someone, you can report them for hate speech. And if they're using mods or cheats, you can report them for cheating. You can also mute them so that you don't have to hear them. But that is all the board is really for. You can also see how many people are in the game. That is all the basic elements of Gorilla Tag. And how to get it, and where you spawn. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day. And let's get monkeying. Peace!